bit by bit, we tried to pull the problem apart. How would you make it? We would make it in the mosquito. Once the malaria parasites have multiplied to the level that we're happy with, we need to get those malaria parasites out of the mosquitoes so that we can put them in a bottle and inject them into people. Right now, the way that we get these parasites out of the mosquitoes, the speed and the precision, just by dissecting them out by hand, is phenomenal, but we want to make it better. Good is not good enough. That's why we began working with our colleagues at Harvard to make a robot to actually substitute for those people. The robot's called Sporobot. This project took a lot of creativity. There aren't a lot of references out there about how to design mosquito dissection robots. At this point, we've gone through proof of concept. We've developed capabilities no one has ever seen before. And when I first heard that we had some success, it was really a thrilling moment because we have to produce more vaccine in less time at less cost for people in the world who need it the most and who have the least. We've gone from what was inside of our heads to the most successful malaria vaccine trial in the history of the world. Every day that we hesitate in this process, another two to 3,000 children die.